Ms. Dunbar wants to raise the minimum wage, talks about regulating executive pay. But a lot of people aren't quite clear about your economic policy. What specifically, I underscore specifically, would you do if elected president? Well, I plan to do a lot. And we talked about this earlier. First and foremost, I want to press for gender equality and close the salary gap. If half of the working population has more money in their pockets, that will catalyze spending, which will grow the economy, which will in turn create more jobs. Mr. President, what do you think of that? Oh, I agree. I think that gender equality is very important. And under my AmWorks program, there will be a provision that all AmWorks jobs, there can be no discrepancy in pay between men and women. AmWorks jobs, though, that's the government. What about the rest of the private sector? Well, I think we have to start by leading by example, and then we introduce legislation. Leading by that example. The... If America works, no, I'm sorry, how you please lead let by me example. finish if my that point, Mr. Dunbar. If that is how you Dunbar. lead by example, then are we to assume that everyone should illegally raid funds that they have no right to use? Everyone should start robbing banks, holding up liquor stores. Now, Miss Dunbar, with all due respect, you can criticize my programs as much as you want. But to accuse me of illegal activity... One thing you can't is deny is that I am much more of an authority on the Constitution than you are, Mr. President. <laughs> Ms. Dunbar, all three of us on this stage have taken oaths of office. Uh, I would have to say that uh, we have all defended the Constitution. You don't have some special claim on the Constitution. The Constitution belongs to everyone in this room and every citizen in the United States. But I would ask Ms. Shah, uh, you voted in favor of dismantling America Works. Was that because you thought it was, in fact, as Ms. Dunbar says, illegal? I voted for dismantlement because I wanted to make sure we were prepared for the hurricane. Not because I thought your reading of the Stafford Act was illegal, per se. Honestly, you think the president had a right to do what he did? It's an appropriations issue, not a legal one. But what about his character? He basically walked into FEMA and said, stick them up and show me where the vault oh, is. Oh, so now I'm a bank robber. Six-gun Underwood, what they call me in <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I do not find this funny. I say you are a hypocrite. You claim to care about the 10 million people out of work, mm. but you will steal their disaster relief Look, this fund, is an appropriations social security, issue, Ms. Dunbar. Uh, and health care to fund a program that calls Heather Dunbar wants to balance the scales, to, to fix a broken system, and yet she sends her own kids to private school with money she never earned, but which she inherited. Now, it is easy to talk about the problems of the poor with a silver spoon in your mouth. Am I well off? Absolutely. So was FDR when he developed the New Deal. Since